Dear friends and partners, we are deeply saddened to inform you that manga creator Akira Toriyama passed away on March 1st due to acute subdural hematoma. He was age 68. It is with our deepest regret that he still had several works in the middle of creation with great enthusiasm. Also, he would have many more things to achieve. However, he has left many manga titles and works of art to this world. Thanks to the support of so many people around the world, he has been able to continue his creative activities for over 45 years. We hope that Akira Toriyama's unique world of creation continues to be loved by everyone for a long time to come. We inform you of this sad news with gratefulness and uh, gratefulness for your kindness during his lifetime. Funeral services was held with his family and very few relatives following his wishes for tranquility. We respectfully inform you that he would not accept flowers, condolences, gifts, visiting offerings, and others. Also, we ask you to refrain from conducting interviews with his family. Future uh, uh, plans for, uh, for commemorate gathering is not decided. We will let you know when it's confirmed. We deeply thank you for your understanding and support as always. March 8th. Yeah, this is literally like right now. Bird Studio Capsule Corporation, Tokyo. Oh, man. So uh, we've got a letter here from Kishimoto. It says, honestly, I don't know what to write or how to write about something so sudden. See, a lot of them didn't know. Like, this just came out of nowhere. However, for now, I would like to express my thoughts and feelings for Toriyama Sensei, something I wish he would have asked me someday. I grew up with Dr. Slump in the lower grades. I never, I don't know Dr. Slump. Do you guys know this? Um, in the lower grades of elementary school and Dragon Ball in the upper grades. And it was natural for me to have his manga next to me as part of my daily. Oh, Arale. It, oh, is that what it? Oh, you know, you want to know something, guys? Like, um, my grandma before she passed. She drew me a picture. Like I, I, I have it somewhere. It's in like one of my. Uh, it's in one of my. Uh, I have like a, like files that I keep that are like kind of important documents, and it's in there. Um, and my grandma, she drew me a picture of Arale. <laughs> like she hand drew a picture of Arale. Like I didn't really know what it was from, but she drew me a picture of it, and uh, my grandma. Uh, she said, like, you can have it because she reminds me of you. And I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> and like, uh, and yeah. And then, you know, my grandma passed away. It's like one thing I have from her. Uh, okay. Even if I had a bad experience, watching Dragon Ball every week made me forget about it. It was a relief for me, a country boy who had nothing. Because Dragon Ball was really fun. And it was when I was a university university student. Suddenly, that Dragon Ball had been a part of my life for so many uh, for so many years. Ended. I felt an incredible sense of loss, and I didn't know who to look forward to. But at the same time, it was an opportunity for me to truly understand the greatness of the teacher who created Dragon Ball. I also wanted to create works like yours. I want to be like my teacher. As I followed in my teacher's footsteps and aspired to become a manga artist, the feeling of loss began to disappear. Because making comics was fun, I was able to find new fun by following my teacher. My teacher has always been my guide. I admired it. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I would like to express my gratitude to the teacher. For me, he was a god of salvation and a god of manga. When we met for the first time, I was nervous. I couldn't say a word. However, as we met many times at the Tesca Prize uh, uh, screening committee, we, we became able to talk. As Dragon Ball children... I and Mr. Oda went back to being children again. And when we talked excitedly about how much Dragon Ball was fun, as if we were competing with each other, I forgot how he looked a little shy and smiled. I can't. Dude, this is so sad, dude. Fuck. I, I have just received the news of, of Mr. Of like what happened. I feel an even greater sense of loss than when Dragon Ball ended. I still don't know how to deal with this hole in my heart. Now I can't even read my favorite Dragon Ball. Dude, this is so sad. Fuck. 
I, I don't feel like I have been able to properly write the sentence I want to convey to my teacher. <clears throat> Everyone around the world was still looking forward to seeing your work. If Dragon Ball's one wish really comes true, I'm sorry. Maybe that's selfish. But it's sad, Sensei. Thank you, Akira Toriyama Sensei, for all of the works that you have done over the past 45 years. And thank you very much for your hard work. We are sure that the remaining family members are still deeply hurt. Please take care of yourself. And I pray that Mr. Akira Toriyama rests in peace. Masashi Kishimoto. All right. You guys want to see Oda's? Man. Mr. Aichiro Oda. It's too early. The hole is, is too big. I never thought the thought of never seeing you again fills me with sadness. I admired you so much since I was a child, and I even remember the day that you called me by my name for the first time. I also miss the day when I had a great time with Mr. Kishimoto on the way home from the day when he used the word friend for us. I also remember the last conversation we had. He is one of the people who took the baton from the era when reading manga would make you stupid. <laughs> oh man, but that era is that coming back, man. It's coming back. And created an era when both adults and children read and enjoy manga. He showed us the dream that manga can do things like this and that we can go to the world. He gave it to me. It was like watching a hero push forward. The excitement that he experienced when he serialized Dragon Ball is probably rooted in the childhoods of creators who are active in all the industries, not just manga artists. The existence is like, is like a great tree. For manga artists of my generation who have stood on the same stage, the closer I got to Toriyama's works, the more I realized that they had a greater presence. Almost scary. But I'm happy to see the easygoing man himself again because we love Toriyama Sensei on a blood level. I would like to express my respect and gratitude to the richly creative world that Toriyama Sensei left behind and pray for his repose at the bottom of my heart. I hope that heaven will be a pleasant place just as you envisioned it. Holy shit, dude. That's so fucking sad, man. They, they did not, dude. Nobody saw this coming. You know, it's not like like he had like a big, um, like, you know, it wasn't like some kind of people knew that he had some kind of a disease and it was happening. This is like dude got RNG'd straight up, you know? Uh, it was, uh, it was a, uh, uh, it was a clot from an injury. Vio. Yeah. That's crazy. Yuji Hori, the Dragon Quest game designer. I'm still in disbelief at the news of Mr. Toriyama's death, which was so sudden. I have known Tor Toriyama-san since I was a writer for Shonen Jump, and with the recommendation of Toriyama-san, the editor-in-charge, I decided to ask him to draw the game when we launched Dragon Quest. In the 37 years since then, I have been asked to draw countless charming characters, including the character designs and monster designs. The history of Dragon Quest is based on Toriyama's character designs. Toriyama-san, the late Sugiyama sensei were friends who worked on Dragon Quest for a long time. That he would die. I don't know what else to say. I'm really disappointed. Man. That's fucking rough, man. What a loss. That's really all I can say. What a loss. I'm not gonna lie, like, like, this is the truth. I've, I've never really... Uh, this might sound a little callous, but I've never really... 
I've never really had this moment where like a creator dies and I, I felt like really, really sad. Like, you know, like to the point that like I would cry. I've never had that happen before. This is like the first time. Usually for me, it's like, oh, it, it feels so distant. You know, it's like a thing that like it happens and you're just like, oh, you know, that, that, that an actor dies. And that's not to say I'm not sad, but like I've never like had it really hit that deep, you know?